Alright, so this is part two of mission five, episode five, Hitman Absolution on Pierce Difficulty, and Joseph for Xbox Live. So, this took a couple of edits to figure out, but there's a guy on the roof there to the right that can see you. So you have to wait for him to turn his back first thing before we can proceed. Drop down, there's a guy down here right behind you. Let him do his thing. Sneak on by. Gotta keep this vent between you and the guy in the window across the street. And watch out for the 9,000 other people on the map simultaneously. <laughs> so, this guy should be walking away. Jump through here quickly. Head into the cabinet to the left. And wait for him to come back. So, now that he's back here, sneak out here, be mindful of the guy on the roof, make sure he turns his back, and then just walk on out. So. Guys are going after Birdie, guy's got the girl, this guy's everywhere, just get in my way, messing up my day. Three days from retirement. <laughs> so, anyway. This guy is going to come walk in up here, and we're going to wait for him to walk back. Then we're going to just get out down here, wait for this other cop to turn his back. And we're going to scoot on over to this side. Turn off the water valve. I guess turn on the water valve. No, turn it off. No sprinkles. Anyway, I'm retarded. This guy is going to walk past again. And we're going to go ignite the fireworks that we wanted to turn the extinguishers, or the sprinklers, off for. Quickly make our way back across the hill. Anyway. It's going to take a second, but there's going to be a guard that's going to come up here in the middle of the smoke. He's going to be looking around, waving, talking, all that good stuff. As soon as he leaves, we dip. And he's going to turn around. Go, 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 go. Yeesh. Ooh, forgot the bottle. Go, go, go. Get the bottle on your way out next time. Don't do what I just did there. Make your way over here. Do, 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 do. As soon as these guys get in here, step over them. As soon as guys coming from the other side, get this shizzle and get out of here. I'm out of here. Use this pillar to cover yourself. Sneak over here. I'm gonna chuck this bottle because this guard always likes to see me. And now he's not looking. We're gonna dip on out. And we are gonna peace out of this one bottle. Sweet. Now this part sucks. There's no actual score for it, so you can play it however you want. But to keep in the fashion of stealthy and unseen. This takes a lot of timing and a lot of distractions. A lot of glass bottles. It's a good thing there's a lot of homeless people in Chicago and they like to drink. After you chuck that, you can grab the evidence to the left, then chuck this bottle and sneak on past, but I didn't feel like grabbing the evidence. I just wanted to get over here. So then we gotta wait for all these guys to turn their backs and all that good stuff and then dip on out of here. Time before they see me, you gotta get 
me out of your homes. You got to, you got to, for your own damn good. Birdie, focus. Don't do anything foolish. I will take care of this. All right, so yeah, this Wade guy's looking to nab Victoria. He's after Birdie. Three of his goons are here in Chinatown. Two of them to my left in the orange and red jackets. Third one, TD. I got really lucky walking through this. I, I almost had to do nothing to avoid cops. But you definitely want to use that floor to just walk behind as an obstruction between you and this cop over here. You will have to say cover there. This really sucks because you can't move very fast when you're moving through a crowd. And I almost got spotted there. Just jump on through here. This vendor won't care. You might think you're weird for crouching around. Bust out the garret. And booyah. Dump them in here. And walk on out. I don't know why I crouched there. You don't really need to. Do you still need to avoid the cop? Who's right next to the vendor that you just walked past twice? But uh, anyway, this is our third target. We gotta wait for him to move. He's kind of in the way. He's gonna bring that vendor over here. We're gonna have a little chit chat. And then we're gonna choke him. Because that's what we do. Alright, so once they're here, you have to stay in the dumpster until he knocks the vendor down or now, else you'll be spotted. Birdie, you, you can choose to uh, save the vendor by uh, killing him before he duck, shoots answer. the guy. Okay, asshole. Or you Don't can just let him kill him and more for the get impaired. the extra points for dumping Where's another the body. They call it's no penalty to you if he dies or lives. Bald son of a bitch, huh? Start talking. Please! I don't know about any birdie! Ah, shit. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna count down from ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Ah, oh, shit, the hell with this. I got a table at the Vixen. Suck it! So, break his neck. Dump his ass in this hole. Then dump this dude. Don't take this guy. Dump him in there. Get some extra points. Jump up. Jump up here. And head for target three, which is in an alleyway. Straight across from this one. Do be mindful of the police. There's one right up here. All right, you stick to the crowd. I won't notice you. I think I just walked past one right there and didn't even get spotted. That was weird. So, anyway. Wait for this guy to come down here. And then as soon as he does, wait for him to turn his back. Jump out of here. Choke that motherfucker. It's me. I just got my hands on some solid intel on the Birdman. Just get a hold of him. Answering a little bit, of course. Suck it. Dump him. 
dodge the cops. And get on out of here. You're dead. You owe me a coffee, asshole! He left with this cowboy guy. Real nasty looking piece of work. They were going downtown, I think. I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Wade, what would you rather do? Find a girl? Or waste a bullet? Clock is ticking. <laughs> 